Lenore von Stein, and this is a, an episode of The Facts. Uh, uh, I'm here tonight with Beth Griffith, Bern Nix, and Andrew Bolotowski. And this is an, an, another piece of this ongoing story that we're telling within The Facts called Palau from the Future, uh, about a woman. Um, it, it, it's, it's set in the year 3000. Uh, the central character's name is Palau, who is 210 years old, but in great shape. And, uh, and she is, she's looking for love. So in, in this story, uh, people in the year 3000, they, they still suffer from things left over, the residue from earlier stages of, of, of democracy, you know, lies, you know, misinformation and insincerity. And, um, but by 3000, privileges are hard to spot because uh, everyone is rich and everyone is healthy. And, um, but and and so the but the idea that some people are more better than more valuable than other people has in fact survived as a kind of popular culture myth, you know, as opposed to you know taking the place of insight.
this, this, this character, Palau, she's come across a few people that interest her as potential love uh, partners, but she's really stretching it, you know, because it's really not anybody, but she's trying to figure, you know, what you gotta go with, what you gotta go with. And uh, because none of these people would be really supportive of her. Uh, one of them, this guy Katon, he's interested in her music, but he looks down on her. And Palau thinks he can be really mean and that she might not know it until this callousness of his had taken a toll on her, great toll. So in her figuring out whether she should move in that direction, she's wondering uh, if she can afford it. Mm -hmm. and, and she thinks, well, maybe. wants to find somebody that she can be herself with. She never tried that one before. She's usually watched relationships from afar like you, like you would when when you, when like you like you would when you going along with the police. <laughs>
So she has another possibility. She has three possibilities, right? This other possibility is this guy named Lloyd Dern. That's his name. And uh, he's, he's very sensitive, he's expressive, but he's confused. And he's, he's, and he's very, he's self-involved. And he likes to be collect, connected to Palau, Palau because, uh, but maybe he doesn't care about it very much. He sort of likes being seen with her. And, and Palau remembers that, um, that there was a time, there was a man that she knew in her life, and she just loved to be seen next to him, sitting in the car next to him. Mm. People come up, she'd be next to him. And, and, and she thought, well, you know, she admired him, but you know, it was kind of unsavory. She was disturbed by the, you know, the narrowness of her feelings, the kind of feeling she had. And she's wondering if, um, you know, it, she's just reversing it now. Lloyd Dern would be, uh, you know, the same kind of thing. Only she would be the kind of the object, and and um, and um, maybe he would be an interesting way station on the way to something else. <laughs> Palau is 210 years old. She, she's still young. Uh, and she's and she's anxious and, and 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 she's very involved with people and and she's not invisible as people often did were became as they got older in the good old days. And uh, Palau has learned a lot in in her 210 years, but she's always just beginning a new phase. Uh, sh so she's always kind of a bit off balance, rigid and. And, and so are the most of the people that she knows because they're also in the same situation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
matter. You can do I did, I did. We have it. So here's the third choice. It's this guy named Philpot. And he's he's breezy and he's funny and he's but he's kind of dull and he's smart but he's not very well educated. And and Palau really likes him. He's a nice guy and she feels relaxed with him, but within these kind of very narrow borders and and so she thinks well, physically it, it might be a very rocky match and maybe emotionally and and it would be very also very difficult intellectually because you know they, they they don't like the same movies they don't like the same music they don't books and there's a big cultural gap that would probably wear thin on them after a while and he, heretofore they have preserved their affection for each other their friendship uh, through distance Many precepts, ideas that I that I've had throughout my life that I never really believed, and um, they were just sort of reference points, and and some of them have fallen. A lot of them, well, some of them anyway. And by by the year 3000, people know that consequences can unfold slowly but profoundly. People study the layers of their own troubles. And consequently, they have more sympathy for other people. Um, there's a common saying in this, in this period of time, in Palau's time. The saying is, it's easy to step around each other, but don't do it. Remember that thing you said, you, you, you saw those people in the street that were, yeah. that, that this little, you know, overhearing stuff? Yes. 
and it was a couple, and it was a couple. And what, what was happening with them? So they were they were walking down the street with a with a very solid distance between them. So they were taking up two people were taking up the distance that three people would walking side by side. But there was a um, difficulty there standing between them, and she looking straight ahead of herself, saying, walking toward the river. Well, why are we going to the river? I went to the river yesterday. And, and he, kind of looking over to her, but still walking toward the river, going, OK, so I'm stupid. And then, and um, the, just the, her, uh, but thinking about it, it wasn't, it was that, it was kind of, it, first of all, that you can see everything that's in the river just by going there one time. And then it struck me that it's actually kind of that the the sadness of it, or why I think why I remembered it is just because we stop. We can see so many things now so quickly that we stop looking at one thing and finding out what it's really all about. I think maybe that's why I remembered it. Now that I think about it, not so much that there's so much there is so much in the river to see, but you. There's so much in every single thing to see, but now we have such a choice of things at, at our fingertips that, yeah, that I'm afraid our vision is not getting better, but worse. So go to the river every day. coming to an end here on this episode and you can catch us online at 1687.org and you can you know you can I hope you enjoyed the show tonight we, we, I think we enjoyed it I, I will speak for myself and uh, we will be back next week we're here on Wednesdays at 930 and um, and you know good night to you all um, bye